Hello there, ladies and gentle folk, and welcome to the off-season episode of Zcast. Everyone's here. When was the last time this happened? I know. Uh, uh, eons. Last eons. time we did Zcast? No. Probably, yeah. No, no it's been quite a while. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's been a bit. Yeah, oh, right. So it's we been have an age. age. That's me. Squeak. Hi. And someone else. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> we, you, you still, we still don't know his name, to be honest. Yeah, no. I, it's just a random bloke. I, I don't know why he's mm. We've got Bert. He's not even coherent. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, Ben. Nice to know your name. Hi. You've been here for quite a while. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> so... I just think the last match is good, on not it? It was the I thought, best I thought ever. last week's match just sucked. Yeah, uh, no, no, the, the commentary was not. absolutely uh, abysmal. Like, seriously. Well, that, I, I, I was not on case. my best. I was no. not on my best. I, I, it was like I wasn't even there, honestly. Uh, yeah, I'm, no, I'm going to own yeah. up to that one. I, I was dodging hurricanes. I can't really remember much. <laughs> <laughs> that was like well, an excuse to me. Were you yeah, watching it at the same time, then? Was that why you can't remember it? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Dedication. On my phone. <laughs> He's like running around with a laptop. <laughs> no, no, no. In the middle of a hurricane. My smartphone, man. My smartphone. <laughs> <laughs> He's dedicated. Downloaded yep. Twitch app and everything. It's great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So we got we got questions. That's pretty much all we're going to be doing for this episode. Um, mm -hmm. We might cover some things at the end if something pops into someone's head. I don't think it will. Nobody has got a brain, so you know. I had a brain once, up. but the wicked witch of the west took it. <laughs> God damn it! Screw you! Pour too like, much don't, into these characters. My brain. <laughs> I was like, no, my brain. Most dedicated GM. Like, he just got his brain nicked by the <laughs> witches anyway. I just... <laughs> I'm a method actor. <laughs> yeah. So, where do we where do we start with the questions? I'm... With the first uh, one, I think it's a yeah, good which idea. Which one's the first one? I... Um, <laughs> um, I don't actually it was one know. by... Hang on, it was by Seth Zeman. Seth Zeman. Oh, on page 17. No, this is page 2. No, we we already we already went over those. You sure? Yeah, we went that. over Sev Zeman's and Kubi Wolf's. The first one was Malachi, but I already answered that one. Um, the next one is Wicked Phantom. Ah, August six, two thousand fourteen. Really? Eleven thirteen a.m. Uh, no, wait. Yes. That doesn't sound. That doesn't sound right. I remember oh, wow. going over Krillin's hair and why we hate him. See, I don't remember I that. Do I don't remember, going remember over Krillin's hair. Mm -hmm. but, I don't remember. But, you know did you did, did you, you do this when we weren't here? You know what? Have we been betrayed? We, we, can, we can do it. We can do it again. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fine. No, I'm just God. looking at like Austin's <laughs> question, and I can't remember whether we answered that one or not. Oh yeah, we answered that. Did we? Right, well, my yeah. memory doesn't work, so I'm gonna give it over to someone else, and we'll start from wherever the fuck. <laughs> I'm just gonna carry on drinking because. Fuck it. I bet you all missed this, didn't you, viewers? <laughs> <laughs> this is slick, slick operation here. Is, yeah, we're going go to go, go back to the early days where, like, HJK or Rebel is just like, playing, like, FIFA. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm playing I, Snake I never, right now. I never played games while recording the Zcast, okay? <laughs> I was a professional. You watch them. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm Fuck you, Burn. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what? I know better. I'm playing Hearthstone right now. I'm sorry. No, get out. No. Doing no. We, we are. We are all. Back. We are all sitting in a studio around a table <laughs> with recording equipment. Oh yeah, it's awesome. I have my I, there's even a green screen. But we don't use it, but there's a green screen of it. <laughs> we just like to have it so we feel important. Oh, oh boy. Okay, okay. So we'll, start we'll, with Wicked Phantoms. we'll start with Wicked, Wicked Phantoms questions then. Yeah. Um, okay. Does anyone want to read it out or do you want me to do you want me to go back? I'd rather Please. didn't do it. but <laughs> But you don't have any anyway. options. I was like, yeah, yeah, I you did, but I am way too lazy it... for any of the other options, so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not gonna be a thing. It... Okay, okay. The first question by Wicked Phantom is 
What do you see coming from so many new coaches, including myself? We have four plus Derangel. That is about a third of the teams. Do you think these teams will suffer due to inexperience or blossom with a new vibrant aura that they desperately needed? Depends how good the coaches are. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> like, it, yeah, it depends how good the coaches are, how much work they put in, and how good the rest of the teams are. I don't mm -hmm. think, I mean, it. it's going to be interesting to see whether or not they're as good as, you know, the teams of the last seasons were with the other coaches on them. Uh, I don't know. I think it's certainly too early to tell. And it Indeed. also depends what kind of backing they get, because um, some teams seem like the Super Saiyans seem to have vanished, and it's just uh, Crimson Flame, isn't it? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. it's kind of weird to see that happen, given that the Super Saiyans were probably the biggest team um, mm -hmm. from last season. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah, it depends entirely on whether or not those teams keep their supporters, gain more supporters, and how active everyone is. <laughs> to be fair, Crimson is doing a pretty good job. Doing a fucking time, though it's a fantastic just him. job. Yeah. He's doing great. Yeah. yeah. Abs absolutely, positively. Uh, yeah. there, let's 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 speak. Let's start from the get go. There are going to be some questions here where we're basically going to tell you there's no way to answer this question. So just be ready for it. This is one of and those it... where it's like, it's like, or uh, in other words, we're not going to be able to give you the answer you're looking for because the answer is going to be. I don't know. It depends on what happens. <laughs> so just, just, just prepare yourselves. Not a bloody mind reader. Mm. <laughs> well, I am, but I'm lazy. Yet. <laughs> yet. I have not ascended to that plane yet. He hasn't chosen that feat. <laughs> yeah. God, I, I, so need a, I need it. Hey, my GM hasn't given me XP for a very long time. I'm sorry. God, the GM sucks. Because all you've done is hide in the is. corner somewhere. No. <laughs> God, like, I keep telling you, I would give you XP if you did something. Uh, my GM gives me XP for hiding in a corner. And stop playing Hearthstone, Jesus. <laughs> fine, fine. I'm closing, closing the program. <laughs> Let me really? concede I'm first. Not. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Somebody tells me you're not going to do that. So, uh, what's the next question? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, the second question. Power body. Its return to the League has some fearing and some rejoicing. How do you see its return affecting the League and the teams within the League? We think it'll add more... Okay. Let me preface this with nothing's changed since we had the last City cast. We feel like it'll add some like interesting variety and options to teams, um, but we don't feel it'll be overpowered because if we did, we wouldn't have added it. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to see a lot more teams, just because of the reputation that Power Body has, I think you're going to see a lot of teams trying to counter their opponents more. Mm -hmm. um, there's going to be a lot more people trying to predict who's going to get Power Body, if anyone. I think it's going to kind of be... It's another one of those four pointers that people seem to think are essential. Um, or the current thinking seems mm -hmm. to be that it's essential. I disagree, but whatever. Um, and I think it's going to be one of those things that people play around. Um, yeah. So it's, yeah, I'm, I don't know. It's going to, I think it's it, going to have people thinking a lot more. It, it will. It should. Um and see, there is there is a lot of danger with power body because you can only have one, but it's four points out of your build. That's more than half of your build. On the hope that it doesn't get taken away by somebody with draconic aura, or just so, like a B two character, or a B two character. Yeah, it's like it's like it's a, it, you have the same problem with power body that you have with eternal life, that people have, I don't know if they've still not realized it, or some people have and some people haven't realized it with Eternal Life, which is that it looks on the face of it to be exceptionally powerful. It actually isn't that good, like, compared no, to what you can do against it. It's not like the counter to Power Body is Draconic Aura, and you have to use Draconic Aura on someone, or you're fucked. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's the same as, you like, putting Eternal Life on someone, you have to put it on them, or you're fucked. It doesn't work like that. It's a case of, it's a risk-reward type thing, it's really expensive, and it can be really good. On the other hand, it's really expensive, and it can be really fucking shit. And yeah. it depends entirely on how you use it, and how your opponent decides to deal with you, and what happens on the day. 
-hmm. So I think its reputation and what people think about it is going to have more of an effect than it actually is, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. it's, it's absolutely true. Um, not to, to go into too much detail, but um, to build off of that exactly, one of the interesting things that um, Berner and I discussed way back when we introduced Power Body was the idea that, you know, on certain characters... <clears throat> If you can get it to work well, it can be useful only because other teams are going to sit there and think, my God, I have to counter this and waste six points countering something that only costs you four points. So even if you only do marginally well, even if they do counter you on it, you just cause them to waste six points. Um, and the, the, psych the psychological game of it alone could be worth the cost. Mm hmm now, don't get me wrong, guys. I'm not suggesting that everyone should just be doing this so that everyone else counters it. I'm trying to give an example of what Rebel was talking about in a build sense. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it leads to more counterplay. That's, that's mm -hmm. one of the main reasons why we, we were thinking of bringing it back in. Yeah, because what you hope is that, okay, you say, okay, we think this person is going to use Power Body. Thinking that, what are the rest of them going to do while we're at it? Um, right. Yeah, it, yeah. Okay, cool, 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 cool. The third question. Does the start, is Super Saiyan 1 apply to all teams, or just the Team Super Saiyans? Example, Team Go On, question Just mark. Super Saiyans. Just the Super Saiyans. Yep, just the Super Saiyans. They're special. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, they're still special. They're even more special now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The fourth and final question. Hi. Bye. Hello. 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 Right then, and with that, we will move on to... <laughs> pretty much sums up okay. the Zencast, really, doesn't it? It's like... Um... <laughs> <laughs> to be Wolf's question on August 15th, 2014, at 5.22pm. With the Power Body chart I listed a while back in general discussion, do you feel that this will have an impact on how teams work with Power Body? I'm going to have to go and find it again. I remember it being a thing. Yeah, I was I about to say, he actually did. has the time to see what it. What it did was <laughs> it specified when and where during a combo a smash attack is used. That, I do that's know, I do, do you know this in, in my own testing is that on average, depending on, uh, on average, when you have power body, the fifth blow is what stuns you. So the first four blows do not stun you. Um, and it's always the fifth blow. The difference mm -hmm. where this comes into play are there certain are characters who are better to combat it. Like, for example, take Teen Gohan and Super Saiyan 2. It still takes five blows for him to stun you, but his melee combo has a lot more blows in it. Or a birder would be a good example. Uh, his melee combo itself gets to five blows a lot faster than, say, Spopovich does. So there will be certain characters that are naturally better at countering power body, not because they are stronger, it still takes the same amount of blows, but because they throw out blows faster, um, if that's kind of what they were talking about. It um Sort of. In in a sense, yes. Oh, um, then it, I was just wasting air. No, it. you were correct, in a <laughs> sense, but not always for the faster attacking characters. Sometimes with faster attacking characters like Chaozu, it would be the eighth blow. Oh. That's when the smash attack is. Because okay, so... the, the thing with the power body chart that you posted was that in a combo line... That is where a smash attack happens, oh. and that's what actually stuns with power body. No, 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 no. In my testing, it doesn't have to be the smash attack that stuns them. Regular combos can start stunning them at five hits. I was doing testing to see uh, how power body reacted to the B1 testing, and it was not the smash attack stun them. It was normal melee moves after the fifth blow. All right, well, fine then. And Never the mind. The chart at the, he's talking about is actually who breaks brick walls completely and who break it like slightly. So there are some characters that oh, break so it we're all without. Just wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's Me. why I was going back. That didn't sound right. So there's a bit here about. Um, that's what I thought it was. <laughs> what characters? So some characters break it at a certain point, and that's that's a minor part of it. And then there's a big list of who breaks it completely. So who just doesn't get affected by power body? Um. Then another one that 
a, a list of characters who breaks it um, occasionally after a few hits, and then um, all the characters that can actually do it uh, who are currently in the league as of season five. So it's mm-hmm. an interesting one. Um, as to how it will affect it, I think it will have an impact if people refer to it, but I think there'll be a point. It's only useful to those people up to a point. Um, mm-hmm. It depends, you know, it depends what characters they have, it depends how they decide to use them, and it depends how prolific Power Body ends up being. Um, and I think Power mm-hmm. Body's actually quite a difficult Patara to build around. Um, and I'm kind of interested to see, because a lot of people are just looking at it and going, hey look, Power Body, melee build. And I, I, I mm, it's interesting. Like, I'm kind of curious to see if we get someone looking at it and go, huh, Power Body, I'm gonna go B2, because that sounds cool. Um, and that'll be, I, th- I don't know, I'm kind of interested to see that. But I think it will have an impact, I don't think it'll be especially major, but the information is certainly interesting. Yeah. Well, my bad. I I really only looked at that thing for like a couple of seconds and then quickly dismissed it. Got I looked at then. it for hours and mm. then quickly mm. dismissed. No, <laughs> <laughs> I I I looked at it, but it was a long time ago. Yeah. At, at first glance, that's what it seemed like. So I was like, eh. I I don't really need this. Brilliant. <laughs> you see, this is what I have to deal with in the staff forum, folks. People just don't read shit. It's ugh. Like they look at the hey. start of a post and go, "Nah, it's useless. Whatever." God, hey. burn, you that's suck. just that's just. I read every single oh, right. post in the staff forum. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Thing is, the staff forum is the place where interesting stuff happens. Let's be honest. You know, you say all the plebs. Who yeah. really cares? Who really cares about that? <laughs> um. You anyway. say interesting. I mean, look at the people we've got in there. And God. <laughs> yeah, burn. Yeah. Ugh. Me. Was a <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like just Myself. self-deprecating over here. They got me. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, I'm the only bright. Feel the freaking love. So, geez, <laughs> God. Ridiculous. Anyway, the next question is by Geom, August sixteenth, two thousand fourteen, three one p.m. Question one, how do you think teams are doing in improving with tests? And is there anything you've noticed that a team has done that you find interesting in any way? Volume. Dear God, the volume. <laughs> I find that interesting. I find it very in the... interesting in the way the Super Saiyans vanished. Yeah, that's true too. It's like the most active subform going into like the last several weeks of the season. And then it's just crimson there going, hello? Um, stuff? Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. Guys, it's bad, really. <laughs> where bad. the fuck has oh, everyone like gone? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, Basically what we're saying is everyone get the fuck over to the Super Saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter your team, just do it. I Totes. don't know if teams are necessarily improving with their tests. Um... Right, I always said volume. I didn't. Yeah, no, about. like, the, <laughs> the yeah, I, I was, I was more going for the question. Like, there's a huge volume of tests, as Squee says. I'm not sure that people are using it in quite the best way. Um, like there are, I've not been paying a huge amount of attention to the actual test thread. I sort of go through it occasionally. I skim very quickly through the whole thing, and I skim through the subforums. So. But the th- the thing a lot of people seem to be doing is it's like, okay, we have this one test and we're going to test this in it. Okay, so we've now had the test and that was completely fucking useless. We're, com- we're discarding that completely. And there's very little of a sense of, hmm, we've got all of this time to do testing. I think this is a really promising build or this is a really promising AI and so I'm going to do another test on it, or I want to make sure that that wasn't just a bit of an anomaly, and so I'm going to do it again. Um, kind of disappointed that that's not really been a thing. Um, or, you know, trying the same stuff, but against different people in different ways. Um, there's just been a lot of sort of throw loads of shit and hope some of it sticks, it seems to me. 
Which, you know, might work, but it doesn't seem to be the most effective method of doing things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I will say that, yeah, you know, I agree that, that some of the tests, like, because, and maybe because their people are going for sheer volume, they are basically, um, they're not talking about the tests a lot. They're just like, hey, let's do this test. Hey, let's do that test. Hey, let's do this test too. And that's great, but you really need to spend some time going, you know what, before we post this test, let's really hammer out why we want this test and what we're hoping to get from this test. Yeah, and then you have to look at it afterwards and say, okay, what did we actually get from this test? Was this test mm -hmm. in any way useful to us? And what do we think, if the build worked, why do we think it worked? Because it could work, it could have just been a fluke that it worked and your character just did well. Or uh, why didn't it work? Again, the same thing could have been the case. It could have just been a fluke. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's kind of, it seems weird to me that people are saying, okay, Here's a build that I think works. Test it against this person. Well, all that didn't work, so let's go on to do something else. Or, yay, that worked, so we're going to do it against this person. Without any real analysis, like, I can see this leading into the main season, and people going, well, we tested everything in the off-season, and it's suddenly not working, and we don't know what to do, and oh my god. Like, I can see that being a thing. Um... And it's a case of you've got the volume of tests, but the quality of the test and the quality of the analysis isn't that good, which is what you're looking for more than the sheer quantity of tests. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Okay. I don't really have anything to add, to be honest. I mean, that I mean, was I'm... so eloquently summed up by the orator over there. I'm guilty of that. <laughs> oh, just saying. Wow. I'm gonna be fixing that pretty soon, though. Ah! You are now. We had yeah. this conversation, but <laughs> yeah, we did. Like last night yeah. or the night before. Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh damn. Anyway, <laughs> the second question is: Don't chuckle, have... Squee. Have you, a choice. You told me to do this. <laughs> Some teams have the choice of switching characters or forms of a character. Do you want any character put on or off a team, or would you like to see it happen for any reason? Uh, well, are we talking about like just like what would my dream league be, or are we talking about I think this would be best for you if you did this? Unfortunately, or fortunately, I'm not going to sit there and pretend I know different teams well enough to be able to tell them who they need or who they don't need. Oh, tell you uh, what, Earth defenders need early Goku. It's got to be a thing. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Just gotta keep pouring salt into the fucking wound, don't you? Yes. Dick. Hey, yes, hey, I do. Hey, I'm doing okay. <laughs> I'm not bitter at all. There's no hard feelings, right? <laughs> you can totally tell by the sound of my voice. <laughs> oh, that's, that's oh, beautiful. <laughs> I'm sorry, Squee. In all seriousness? Mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead, Squee. No, I was I was done. You were done. Okay. Um there is one team that I want to change out one of their characters. Because okay. I feel they would be way better without him. That team is the Saiyans. Napa. Napa. I in guess. my opinion, in my opinion, Nappa needs to go for Raditz. But that's just my opinion. You don't have to go with it. And I've talked with Dimension over and over about this. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. it depends. Right, it depends entirely on the Saiyans' team composition and what they see their team going for. Because in and of himself, Raditz might be a better character than Nappa, and I think it's. Again, I've spoken to Dimension asked me about it before, and I would yeah. say that Redis is probably better. However, on the other hand, it depends entirely on what kind of composition they're going for. And Raditz might not fit that kind of composition. Nappa might be better based on the kind of way they want to go with their team in general. Because having... Well four or five really good players is cool and all, but if those four or five players are only good at melee... There ain't any fucking point having them. I'd rather have that other person that ain't so 
great, but is actually going to be able to use B2 stuff. Because at the end of the day, if you can't utilize your players properly, it's going to be more detrimental than having a slightly weaker player that you got to work on. Here, now, I'm not saying that thing, is though. the case, but it's something to consider. Here's the thing. They're going to have Raditz no matter what. They're going to pick him up. The choice is between Nap and Turles. Which I believe Turles can do way better than Nappa. Yeah, he could do, but the thing is you have to examine why Turles was doing badly and why Turles is a liability and it's the fruit. Whereas Nappa yeah. you've seen in the past doing <laughs> well. And Turles, the whole... Every single time Turles has done wrong, there is one problem, which is the fact that he uses the fruit at the most retarded time. And it's not really something you can control. I don't see it as a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Just putting that out there. Mm. I think it's marvelous. Fruit is good! Now, the Saiyans may not agree with me, and they might have good reason for it, but yeah, you're right. Turles, that fruit hurt that team more than it cost that team more than one match last season yeah i i would yeah. be inclined to go so far as to say that that fruit and his use of it made damage that team more than napa not being quite so great did i'd probably be inclined to go as far as that so while mm -hmm. i would say that radis is definitely a better player than napa and I'd say he's arguably weaker than Turles. It depends whether or not you think it's more likely that you're going to make Nappa work and do okay, which I don't think's out of the question, and whether or not you're going to be able to get Turles to use the fruit properly, which I think is far less likely. And so you're then saying, okay, what kind of a trade-off are we going for here? Because when Turles worked, he was fantastic. Yeah, mm -hmm. but he was. when he wasn't, which was far more often. He just evaporated because fruit. Hmm. I guess. Yep. I like that reasoning, just because fruit. Just because he tried Brilliant. to eat healthily, I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, man. We all know that never worked. Yeah. He's a vegan. So, really, what's the lesson we're teaching kids here? Um, don't eat your flipping fruit. Yeah. I believe that's what we're trying to tell you. Yeah, seriously, yeah, you'll get hit right. in the face yeah. so often. Like, people call you funny names, and ugh, it would be terrible <laughs> for you. Other than that, there's there's no other teams that I can think of that really need to change their team up that much. Needs, I don't think anybody needs to. I don't think even the Saiyans need to. Yeah, they I don't really need to. I think it's a case to. of, I don't really, I'm not on any of those teams, so I don't really care. <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. interested to see what they do with them, but apart from that, I'm not really bothered. Yeah. And don't be wrong. Or um don't take it the wrong way. I don't care if you trade out Turles for Raditz or keep your entire team the same. I don't I don't care. Doesn't matter to me either way. I just feel that if I were helping out the Saiyans or like on that team instead of the Earth Defenders, I would want Turles over Nappa. But that's just me. I personally think there are some teams that need to lose a player. Um, well, yeah, I don't think I, some, be, I mean, yeah, I don't think defenders. Muscle should keep thirteen. I don't think the Earth Defenders should be keeping mid Goku. Um, no, yeah. Oops. Wow. <laughs> mm, okay. Yeah, no, I, I really should just maybe two. That, truth that is rather out. surprising, Rebel. Seeing as how for most of the last season you were saying that thirteen is shit. <laughs> yeah, no, he is. That's why I mustn't need to get rid of. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like muscle need, need No, I think, so I, mean, I think I think I think I think what mm -hmm. Rebel I think what Rebel actually was saying was that not that thirteen was shit, but that thirteen was not working the way he should be working. Yeah, like thirteen so, in and yeah. of himself is fantastic. But last season I don't know what Muscle were doing. I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. But he wasn't thirteen, I'm sorry, that was not thirteen that we were you seeing. Like you saw That was like twelve. The that was yeah, like twelve no. nine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, don't get me started on twelve. Oh, <laughs> I give, I give, I give oh, it a four point five. Four point five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably. Yeah. The next question by Wicked Phantom again, August seventeenth, two thousand fourteen, ten forty-five a.m. Another question. Don't know if you've noticed, but every West Kai team has been testing, improving, scraping, rewiring builds at a level that no team has done in history. Not a single team 
has less than 70 tests and there is obvious improvement. Do you think this gives Westcott an edge over other divisions or a handicap? Wait, is that this obvious is improvement? One of... <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what? Let's like... even assume. Let's even let's even assume there is. Let's even say for a second there is. This is one of the ones I was talking about where I said I'm not going to be able to give you the answer you want because the answer is, um, you're like basically here's the question. There's a lot more tests. Will that give me an advantage over teams that do not have tests? Not necessarily. Well, it depends, as yeah. I said before about tests, it depends 100% on how you use them. If you're just saying, okay, here's a test and here's how it's done, let's move on to the next test, that test is completely utterly fucking useless to you. It has not mm -hmm. done anything except waste your wells and the tester's time. If you're looking at a test and saying, okay, I have a handful of tests here with this one character, and here's how the games went, here's why they went the way they went, and here's what I think we should do. That's useful. That's given you, at the very least, a decent base from which to work off. I'm not mm -hmm. saying it'll be perfect going into next season, but it gives you more of a base to work off. I'd far rather have 10 tests on, you know, that were actually well reasoned, well thought out, and had a proper analysis behind them than the 70 tests that are just thrown in and gone, all right, we've tested this, now what? And this is how it's done against this. Because I don't think that's useful in the slightest. So if those West Kai teams are sitting down and analyzing their tests and why they've done well and what they want to change and what those tests mean to them, then yeah, it'll give them advantage. But if they don't, then it's probably neither a handy handicap nor an advantage. It just is. They've done tests and meh. Yeah, but yeah. So so take take it from this. If you start utilizing it properly, then yes, it's a great advantage over teams that haven't been testing. Like for example, the Namekians. I I I I I don't know. You guys have requested maybe a few tests, not a lot. And well, like you can go the other way around. Look at these other teams that have requested seventy tests. Whether they're utilizing it or not, they're really work in the testing system and these are 70 tests you could have had for your team as well so you know I, I, I agree on the other side there are some teams out there that just aren't doing a lot and you guys we finally have a testing team that allows you to put out a huge number of tests for your team that if used properly could completely revolutionize the teams in the league as a whole mm -hmm. like i am so excited by the sheer fact that some teams are testing this much because if used properly, the teams that start season six could be completely different than anything we've ever seen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We... oh. It's all about quality. All about quality. Yeah. Like, com compare it to the, um, the tests that were happening during the season last season compared to now. There's a reason why th this hasn't been done in history yet, because we actually have testers that are able to pump out these tests every day, compared to whenever DMZ would ask me and DMZ, um, pumping them out like once a week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got nothing else. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I got Fritos. In that case, we'll move That's on so to the next question by Havoc. You won three yesterday. Yesterday at 4.07 p.m. When building a fighter, should you focus on their strengths or should you dedicate some batars on their weaknesses? Depends what you want to do with them. <laughs> I love this. I get to be remarkably unhelpful. It's great. I know, because because they're not... And I'm still you, right, it's great. Here, here's the problem. Let, let, let me try to put it this way. You guys are not asking the right questions. You are asking questions that are unanswerable in such a vague state. Saying, if I'm focusing on a fighting character, what do I want to focus on? It helps us not at all, because there's so many different fighting characters in this game. You have to say something like, uh, you know, if I'm working with Fasha, what should I do? And even then... You're more specific, and we might be able to help you more, but even then, it depends on your philosophy as a team. It's not like there's one method 
to get, say, Fasha to work. There's more than one way to get her to work, even as a melee fighter. So to ask such a vague question of, if I'm dealing with a spammer, what should I be focusing on? We can't, there's no way we can give you the answer you're looking for when you're that vague. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly, exactly what Squeeze said. And then being even vaguer than that and saying, Ben, building a fighter, do you focus on the strengths or weaknesses? That's, it depends. It, it 100% depends on it, all sorts of different factors. Mm -hmm. It depends on what you want to do with that character and what direction you want to go. Who the character is, and... uh, full stop. What yeah. the rest of your team's doing, what your opponent's going to be doing, where you want them to go, whether, or, you know... <laughs> There's too much yep. shit. I, I will say that, that is one thing that I, I think a lot of teams don't focus on enough, is you worry too much about the single player and not enough about the team itself. Um, you know, the first question you should be asking yourself is, does the team need another melee fighter? Should you even be focusing as a melee fighter? Perhaps you have enough melee fighters and now you really need to see if you can make them a spammer. Then, mm -hmm. okay, maybe my team does need another melee fighter. Well, what role? There's tank melee, there's damage melee. Which one will better complement the other fighters of your team? I think a lot of teams concentrate too much on what makes this character good instead of how does this character help the team? Yeah. Indeed. Me too. Super Saiyan Blade asks, also yesterday, like literally 40 something minutes after Havoc 3 on 3, I mean, that's just crazy. Which fighting style do you think is better, melee or B2s? Ooh. Depends. Ooh. Ooh. Both have merits. Okay, I'm well, that's, just, that's just the most boring answer. Come on. Tank, <laughs> shut up. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Sorcerer. Uh, it it again gets into the well. It just depends because there's some characters that are really good at melee and some that are really good at B two. Um, I say that I would think that if you polled the viewers, maybe not the people that work on the team, but the viewers as a whole, people probably like B twos because they're flashy. They're flashy. Mm -hmm. They're impressive. It's nice to go. Whoa! Look at that damage. Um, and and melee gets overlooked because it's damage over time, even if it is just as effective, if not even more effective, um, mm -hmm. depending on the player. Me personally, as a preference, I don't have a preference. My preference is what gets wins. God squeeze, you're, so you're competitive. Basically, I know! Right? <laughs> you're, you're basically bringing up the argument of what is better, chip damage or burst damage. And it it really depends on the character. That's all it depends. Not just depending on the character, it depends on the situation as well. Yeah. It depends on who you're going up against and all that stuff. It also depends on your team composition. Like, can you go for another melee? Can you go for another B2? Or do you need to try and round out your team? And blah de blah de blah -dee. There's a lot of different things that go into trying to make a character. Bloody 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 indeed. Yes. I think you can quote a, me on that. Um, if you had an amazing melee fighter versus an amazing B2 fighter, though, which would win? We've had that one before. Um... <sighs> We it depends, how good the, it stuff. depends how good the melee <laughs> fighter is and depends how good the B2 character is. <laughs> yeah. But they're the best. It really... Imagine they're the best. They're the best. It doesn't matter. The like, it, okay. in, that, the in that case, it depends around. the situation on the day. Yeah. Because, yeah, it's because, sunny. Because, yeah, because here's what you run into. You say, you say well, melee is better because they're always up in their face, not giving the opponent time to charge up and do their B2s. But... Okay, I have B2's power body. I jump back and because... throw a B2 in your face. There you go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And but exactly. B2 is yeah. better because since B2 is massive damage quickly, it doesn't give the melee uh, fighter time to do the chip damage. So the answer is... Uh... B2. <laughs> 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 I think that's what that we draw from this. Misses, yeah. you're fucked. Uh, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. As soon or as, as that the melee fighter does what done. a melee fighter is supposed to do and dodge, then good luck. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Next question. The mentioned satire again yesterday at 5.02. That must have been a, 
Okay. A flurry, a flurry of activity. I think that's the point that I started saying, hey, we're doing a Z cast at some point. Yeah, ask uh, that's when Rebel said. There you go. Yep. Cause and effect. See, you learn science. <laughs> I'm so well. powerful. <laughs> oh. Right? There has been talk about each team's leader. Who do you think would be the leader of each team? Do we have to go to just to give clarification. Teams? Just to give clarification, what he means by that? Me. He is... means me. No. <laughs> I think, I think he cool. does. I think he does burn. I think he means me. <laughs> Silly burn. But, okay. For instance, the Earth Defenders, the leader of that team is mid Goku because he's Goku, the captain, and he's the big shot. Same thing with Derp. Um, Hercule is the leader of the team. That kind of thing. I think Hercule's pretty much the leader of all Every the team. Wait a yeah. second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Are we really making Goku the leader of anything? Shouldn't someone intelligent like Tien be the leader of the Earth Defenders? <laughs> um, I mean, this is Goku we're talking about. He hasn't led sorry, anything that didn't involve a full course dinner in years. Would you? Do you really want the Three Eyed Freak to be the leader? I don't. I, don't know I will use him over Goku. <laughs> Non-human of the Earth Defenders. I mean, what are my other options? We've got Krillin. Hey, we've got Tien Yamcha human. who's too busy chasing nah, tail. Nah, nah, we've nah, got nah. some sort of vampire child. And we've got a three-eyed demon. I'll go for the three-eyed demon. No, no, no. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd go for the one constantly chasing tail. At least he's got a good image. <laughs> <laughs> he also has hair. There is that the as well, yeah. That's kind of fun. <laughs> he's he's <laughs> also, like, the most human out of all of them. Holy he crap, is. I didn't realize that. Terrifying. The three members of our team are bald. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. no, that's not true. That's oh, not true. Yeah. Kaosu, I think, actually has a curl. Like, has a curl of hair. You've got, oh, God, yeah, just, You've got yeah. a yeah. midget vampire pig man. <laughs> <laughs> wow, no wonder you want to get rid of him. Shame that didn't happen, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. wow. God yeah. damn it, Rebel, shut up! <laughs> I'm gonna stab you! One of these days! One of these days, Rebel! Brilliant. <laughs> Bang! Zoom! Straight mm. to the moon! Oh, I don't um, know. Are we gonna go through every team? Ah, I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, no, no. I was, gonna, I was just, gonna, I was just gonna mention the ones that would be fun to try and determine. Like, for example, who's the leader of the Namekians? Is it Piccolo, Piccolo, Piccolo? Because they're all pretty strong personalities. <laughs> uh, it's probably it's Nail. Obviously not, because Tambourine's <laughs> just that. Yeah. Or is it um, Nail, who basically just tells them they're all idiots? And no. I think, I think the the leader of that team is Super Common Guru. Um. Not he's, he's not on the team. Expert fighter. Too, too bad. Mask, he, he, he is. is. <laughs> too bad. <laughs> he is enough. their mascot. Fair enough. He he's he can't fight. It's just Dende. He would be too awesome. Going, for fuck's sake, what? Are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> just desperately trying to heal them. Like, Come on, guys. I can only do guys. two. I can only do five hundred points a second. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um. The next question. Is by PVT Crying five hundred two yesterday seven fifty p.m. So some testing questions: What would you like to see more of from teams? And do you think tests should hone one perfect build or many good builds? Sorry, struggling uh, with the one plural. Um, right. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I I would say um, as a general rule, I prefer many good builds over one perfect build because I don't like having to rely on one character to make my to get my wins. I like having a well-rounded team where because every character has bad weeks. Period. It happens. There's no such thing as the perfect build. They perform every week without fail. So I, I use want my favorite word again. Early Goku does that, doesn't he? Pretty sure he has. <laughs> 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 I, I think in Goku is the closest we've ever come to seeing that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, but that's mm. consistently bad. So yeah, sort of like, just, yeah, see really that that's one thing you guys should have just started him in is just SSJ three, so that you already know from the get go. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's yeah, gonna be a bad no, time. No confusion. Yeah. Yep. No when confusion. It depends. We're in it to win it. SSJ three. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but I yeah, I, I, I would, I, as a general rule, I would take a well-rounded team over a perfect build any day of the week. Um, yeah, probably. I think, though, it depends... <laughs> it depends what you're doing with the rest of your team. Like, if you say, okay, 
we have a team full of people who did absolutely terribly last season and we're going to go into the season with one perfect in inverted commas build for each one and then we're going to figure the rest out during the season because that's all we've got like that's all we're really capable of doing at the minute then that's better than saying okay we've got these builds that are, we think are kind of good for everyone and we're not really very sure about um, and it like it depends on how active you and the rest of your team are how you deal with your tests how many tests you request how in depth they are how much analysis you get it depends on a lot of things but there's a generally in an ideal world I'd agree with Squee <laughs> I mean in an ideal I'd... world I wouldn't agree with Squee but you know I, I kind of have to I'd, yeah I personally sometimes I know I I kind of like the whole many good builds part, but that that's only because you can go it 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 plays into the counterplay. Like, oh hey, you're going to expect Krillin to be melee. Well, guess what? He has power body and key plus two. He's a spammer now. Oh, motherfucker! <laughs> Just so as many destructive many discs as you can throw wars. out. <laughs> yeah, don't remind me. <laughs> I, I think, think, we have, I think we've come to the conclusion energy. that expanding energy has absolutely no redeeming factor whatsoever. Yeah. It makes me laugh. I would take Trap Shooter over it. Like, here's what I don't For understand. The people who made this freaking game had to know how crap this move was. Because they <laughs> knew, even Trap Shooter, even game. Trap Shooter, you could justify to yourself, well, if they fire it really close up, they'll all hit. There is no way... That all the energy expanding waves, or even half of them, are going to hit your target. It's just not going to happen. Yeah. So, you know, theory. when the developers when the developers made this, they're like, <laughs> <laughs> like troll faces everywhere. Yeah. I See, in theory, mention expanding energy wave in every Z cast. This is great. I, I know. Yeah. Gonna... <laughs> we have issues. Uh, let's, yeah. God damn it, we, Rebel! Stop it. This we have is issues. Amazing. But um, in theory, expanding energy wave has has some merits because it's a barrage. But the fact of the matter is, it's a barrage that deals less damage than Majub's barrage. Number one, e even if everything hits, deals less damage, has a wider spread, and costs three bars. There, there are so many better barrages in the game. It's at mm. least it's not Can you hear old. Burns' vein popping it's right amazing, now? It's amazing, isn't it? You can hear it just pulse. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's Guys, got something I, to be angry about or something. It's amazing. Mm, I, I know. Very strange. I think, I think I can smell burnt toast. Does Is that bad? No, that's fine. It's just your brain. Don't worry about it. I'll Whatever you do, burn. don't call 911. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Again, when we talk about teaching children, uh, don't eat fruit. Um, um, and if someone has brain damage, it. don't call 911. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, a, yeah, call 999 instead, you fucking idiots. Jesus. Exactly. Oh. NHS state healthcare. <laughs> Boom. Um, anyway, <laughs> enough, enough of that. Uh, Havoc313 asks, yesterday at 950... Hang on a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh my god, he questions. asked two it's questions. Great. In the same day. Craziness. Anyway, he asks, any word of advice for the new coaches? I, I have no. already stated my Clear, word. No. Clearly there is no word. I, Be <laughs> good. There, there was already a thread for this. I already posted what I feel. Why you aren't want you being to? good? Yeah. <laughs> Be competent. Do good and stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. No, not really. Um, yeah, no. Praise Grillin's bald head. <laughs> yep, praise him. Praise yeah, him for uh, he shall set just... you free. <laughs> yes. Only if he can hit without expanding energy wave. <clears throat> you son of a bitch. <laughs> um, it basically, okay, to take it seriously, again, that is one of those questions that is just too vague to really be able to answer well. Um, yeah, like any I, advice for a new coach? Of a lot of advice, but it depends yeah. on the situation, and a lot of the co the new coaches are, yeah, you know, like it's difficult because we're not in the actual season as well. Um, it's right. a lot easier mm -hmm. to sit down and say, okay, here is how you've been coaching so far. 
here's what you can do better than it is to say, okay, here's how you coach well. Um, because every, mm-hmm. you know, pretty much every coach's situation um, is completely different with, like, their own, like, each team comes with a different set of challenges that they actually have to deal with. So, um, yeah. So, no, no, not, not, no, no, I don't. <laughs> Be competent. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, Did, pretty much, yeah. Do you guys want me to repeat the stuff that I said in that thread? No, it's fine. They can go look for it. Uh, no? I okay. will, well, yeah, no, but I will I will say this, that um, listen to the Zcasts because we've been giving you a lot of good information, especially on your tests. You guys seem to have the idea of that you need to test down. That's great. Utilize them to the best of their potential. Like, here's what I don't see in the forums I should be seeing, or I would hope to see. After every test should have a discussion on the merits of this test, what it gave you, what you can take from that, more than just, well, that didn't work, let's try something else. Why didn't it work? What were you hoping to get out of it that didn't work? What makes you, th- what, what do you think you could to get it to work? Is this something you need to keep trying to get work? That should be after every batch of tests. It's called analysis. Do it. It'll be useful. <laughs> My God, they've got names for it now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> weird. I know, I know. I know. It's shocking, but this has been around for a while. Like the, this sort of thing, and yeah, it's crazy. La gasp. <laughs> La gasp. <laughs> La gasp. The next question or series of questions is by Hazar for timelines. Oh, not him again. Yeah, is he still here? What the fuck? I know. I don't know. Yes. Unfortunately, Jesus. God. Hi, Hazar! Hey. Uh, the first question. How do you think the new coaches will do from what you've seen in the off-season? It depends and it's going to vary. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Yeah, you should repeat that. questions! Re- um, the second question, then. If I'm just going to have like an old vinyl in... record playing and I'm just going to occasionally shriek. <laughs> So now I was thinking we just use that answer for every single question. Probably <laughs> fit. Mm. Yeah. If a new That's coach a steps part. in, <laughs> if a new coach steps in, how much impact does that usually have on the overall team? Does the team usually get better because of the fresh ideas, or does it need time until the coach gets the same experience as the previous coach? <clears throat> depends on the team. <clears throat> God, definitely damn it. depends on the team. Uh, for example, the um, Burns seemed to do a much better job than I ever did, and I'd been coaching the team for seasons. <laughs> so, yeah, well, I, I'd it, say that depends on the team. I still didn't really fully understand every single character. I was gonna say, he's still in and out. Burn, good Burn. at it, but yeah. no, Burn, just take the compliment. Just take, just take it. Just take, <laughs> take the compliment. I will take <laughs> the compliment and I will elaborate on it. You will I'm gonna take, take this the compliment, compliment and, and I'm you gonna will shove like it. it down your throat, you miserable bastard. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> we're yeah. we're so good to burn here. We uh. We yeah. value him so much. He's such a good punny <laughs> bag. I really appreciate it. They, they, they beat me. I don't know. Sorry. Why. Oh yeah, yeah. We do that as well. That's true. That's part of it. Um, is that? Yeah, I stay out of that. I just do it verbally. I find it all much more satisfying. Right, and I find the big sticks work better. I, you, know, yeah. we each have our methods. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't walk. Yeah. And I, I play with his wheelchair. That's, that's my form of bullying. He just like loosens screws in the wheels. <laughs> he, he, he's got it down to an art. Burn will get like six feet before it goes. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, it's pretty funny. But yeah, um, it, it solely depends. on. In my case, it had to take a bit of time, but it was only a few weeks. Yeah, it's he still has and to then know. it's just shut up. Ugh. It's and kind of embarrassing. Really, after that, yeah. we ended up going uh ten and one. No, El- no. No, he's been dreaming again. It's cute. nine and two, four and ten. Nine and two. <laughs> <laughs> we went nine and two after that. So it, it really all depends. Next question. And it varies on the team. Yes. The next question is by Fraser Taser. Today at 10.32am, what are your favorite ultimates? The ones that hit. It varies and depends Dep- on the team. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Boom. 
One Boom. of us is going to get there. <laughs> oh, God, at least I faster. was useful. Jeez. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I think I can predict rebels. Is it supernovas? <laughs> okay. No, and you said the ones that hit. God. Actually, actually, oh, okay. my favorite, my favorite ultimates are um, the the really fun ones to look at, like uh, Android thirteen when he's transformed, where he literally beats the crap out of you while you're flying through the air. That's fun. Um, that guy's awesome. Fosh's, <laughs> Fosh's because that's that that snaps necks. There's no yeah. way that that does not snap your neck. I I don't mm -hmm. even. And oddly enough, Roshi probably enjoys it. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. It's uh, so there, there are a couple that I really enjoy. Um, I like Turles's a lot just for the ending, where he just yeah. stomps on your face and just blasts you. Like just the disrespect there is great. Um, so in that sense, I like those. Yeah. I don't uh, know really, I I personally like um, and Goku base forms, uh, spare bomb. Oh, that is quite cool, actually. That's yeah. Yeah, where he goes Super Saiyan afterwards. Yeah, mm. he he goes Super Saiyan mid, um, thing, and then it just and then dies somebody and then dies. It just dies. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's so embarrassing. But it's really cool because it's also a cutscene. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna stick with the ones that hit, but whatever. Yeah. I no, wasn't joking. You're boring. You're boring. So is your face. I like Spopovich's. Shut up. <laughs> Your God, is my face boring? Yeah, Spopovich's is pretty cool. Yeah. It is a pretty I, fun I, one. It's no, no, hang, hang, on, hang on, hang on. Is my face boring? Yes. No. I just told you. God. Stop asking I'm sorry, problems. I can't say anything but no. <laughs> <laughs> these are the problems with having a studio, you know, recording. It's, yeah, uh, yeah. I know. Yeah. I it brings out a Before mirror you answer stuff. this, think carefully how you feel about your GM. Uh... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I have to compliment him at any co every corner. <laughs> <laughs> you do like just whenever you're playing, you just hear Bone going. This is a gorgeous map, GM. This this is just. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was I was I was messing story. with I was messing I was messing with Kriani the other day. She said something, and I was like. Okay, session starts. So you guys come together, and there's a body of a dead elf there. <laughs> um, gee, I'm sorry, Chris. Yeah, I'm gonna have to reroll your character. <laughs> Today's session is find out how she died. <laughs> <laughs> a murder okay. investigation sounds fun. Cluedo. Oh my goodness! Wicked Phantom again. It's like the third time. I think there's another Wicked one Phantom. right in the end as well. He has a couple more. Oh my goodness. Today at 7.14 p.m., Wicked Phantom asks, Do you see the Android's new coach in a disadvantage from other new coaches to coming in in two, once two months later? Depends. No, depends seriously. on the team. And the... <laughs> well, it, no, it depends like how good they are in and of themselves, how well they know the team, what kind of support they get from either the rest of the team or, you know, if they go looking for the additional support, what they get from that, how they approach building the team, and if they get lucky or not, and, you know, to be completely blunt about it. I think there's more of a chance that they're at a disadvantage, but not necessarily. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm, I think that they hey, are going to be at a massive. <laughs> fuck off. They're going to be at <laughs> a massive disadvantage. Why? And. Uh, what? No, 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 they didn't ask that. They didn't ask that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They didn't ask that. Wild shot in the dark. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I'm supposed to explain myself? Fuck that. <laughs> no, 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 no. The next question by Gamer Junkie Twenty Seven today at seven nineteen p.m. That's right, five minutes after getting this down quite close. Yet. I'm expecting one that's exactly the same time at some point. You're expecting. Do you know what month? People on this one. <laughs> Do you know what month season six will start? Yes. The month we say it does. No, um, <laughs> it, it should be October, shouldn't it? <clears throat> should be. Uh, basically, yeah. hang on. I can give you guys a really good idea, actually. Um, let's see. We have we just did 13. So we have two weeks of Naruto League left of regular season and then four weeks for the playoffs, I believe, which would be 
one, two, three, four. So really, October 5th, if everything goes well, should be the start of the preseason. And I think we're going to have a two-week preseason. Yeah. So, so that means that October 5th is the preseason. And October 19th might be the week one. Now, this is... Um, Maybe not, though, because in, in October sometime, I'm going down to Onicon for like an entire week to help them run the convention. And in return, I'm going to be doing a bunch of DBZ League stuff for free. So I won't be there that Sunday. Uh, the only the only exception would be if they find a way to make me uh, be let me be able to stream at the convention, which is amazing as that would be. I don't see it happening. So it might not be the 19th. It may be whatever. There'll be a week in there where there might not be a DBZ League. But October ish. There. That's just not I, good enough, to be honest. I answered. Would. <laughs> Disappointed. <laughs> Disappointed. <laughs> and on that note, we will go to the <laughs> next question. Um, Crimson Flame asked today at 807 PM How has the number of active supporters per team changed in the off season as opposed to the main season? I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. What did you say? <laughs> My I God, I really wasn't listening either. <laughs> wow. Wow. No, How has the number of active supporters per team changed in the off-season as opposed to the main season? I was paying attention, um, and then you took too long, and I, I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, I do, and I'm not quite sure what caused it, but I do know once the off-season started, we had a huge influx of people because burn, uh, I mean, because Rebel was like every freaking day. <laughs> I'm happy. I actually there going for fuck's sake. Like literally, I would go, I would do like five or six people and put them on the teams, and then I'd come back half an hour later, and there'd be someone else who'd posted mm -hmm. literally five minutes after I did the whole lot of it. Tell that to the Super Saiyans. Sake. Yeah, and then all like no, no, but a lot of them were declaring for the Super Saiyans, and then the Super Saiyan sub forum was just desolate. Like, it was literally, it like, I don't know how many pages for me it is. Like, a page for me is just crimson flame. <laughs> the poor bastard is just, yeah. like, mm. there's a post or two from, I think, like, one post from me just sort of punctuating the whole thing. That's it. It's just, mm -hmm. I don't know. So, for most teams, there's been an influx. Like, there's been, you know, there's been, there's been more active supporters. Um, mm -hmm. It's calmed down yeah. more recently. Um, but... Yeah, in general, I'd say it's gone up. There have been a couple of teams where it's gone down. Agreed. Mm, yeah, yeah. Seems the bears. Accurate. What do you say? Not bears. The, the bears bulls. The, 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 the bears. The, okay. Right, Home gotcha. of the bears. Wicked Phantom asks thirteen minutes ago. Um, you've missed the second Christ. question from Crimson Point. Yeah. Crimson Flame asks a second question. The stuff in Subforum's idea seems to be on hold. Any further news on this? Well, I'm already supporting two teams. So. It oh, is well. only on hold because no one responded to my. Yeah. <laughs> like, literally. I, I, like, I, like a month ago, I was like, okay, so it looks like we've got the teams that need help. Who wants what team? Hey, I, I stated from the very beginning I wanted booze. <laughs> It's yeah, true. Possessive um, bastard. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah. It's true. I think. I think. I think. I think everyone got really busy or whatnot. I. I tell you what. It, it, information to come. We'll. We'll. Yeah. We'll try and get that sorted out and at least get you guys some help for the last month and whatnot. So. Yeah. I've been talking to Kayo about trying to poke him to support a team. He doesn't. He still doesn't know who he wants to support. I haven't talked to Derangel in a few days. Um, I have a and... choice. Yeah, because yeah, you're a you know, reclusive either. prick. <laughs> no, I'm here. People can talk to me. I just, you I'm, just, not gonna go not to... I'm just not. I'm just not going to go and seek company. Because fuck you guys, Jesus. <laughs> hey, whatever happens, one of you two need to help the vowels. Because god dang, they they won't let anybody Good else god, touch them. Oh no, you guys do suck. I can I can entirely understand. <laughs> Be honest. God. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. 
It's, okay. it's it's true though. It's it's true. Um, <laughs> HJK, don't forget, uh, Wicked Phantom just edited his. Oh, so on. you're gonna Jeez. need to reload your page. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> uh -huh. Got okay. it. Understood. Right, let's do this. Okay, Wicked Phantom, you're up. Fifteen minutes ago, technically six minutes ago. He's been curious of two things for quite a while, at least at least a day. <laughs> uh, he's been curious about it. Number not one, even there. He asked who one, is like earlier on today? So like not even like a few hours ago. So yeah. Mm, exactly. Who is member number one on the forums? I see Squeeze number two, and I'm curious who number one is. Sparta. Sparta, the man who made the forums and who is no longer active on the forums. Um, we dealt. We dealt with him. He, I mean, he, he's a good friend. He's, he's the one that, that made the forums for me back when I had no idea how to even run a form um, or make still one don't. or whatnot. Still really don't. <laughs> Let's be fair here. I really still don't have much of an idea. He, um, he just... since, since he is the creator, he is always the number one slot. And uh, that's just not even possible to move, even if we wanted to. So um, he, he, he's not around me, anymore. I've tried. <laughs> yeah Wait, uh, no i mean like he was he was around for a few years he was to the margins for a while and then life just got in the way and he moved on as with many people um but yeah he will forever be the number one slot because he made the forum but everybody but knows really, that's still the best re re really number two number two here yep he's number two oh, you, you you cannot be number one you cannot be mr number one One's the loneliest number that you ever know. Mm. Uh, Any other anyway. questions? <laughs> there is. The second one. Would it be bad if I think Akuman should be on the master list for Blades and I feel like I could debate this topic, displaying quite a few valid points, so would it be rude or disrespectful to ask for a chance to give my thoughts on this? Who? Who? I have no <laughs> idea. I have no idea who Akuman is. No, so, I... Say it one more time. A K K U M A N. I'm googling it now. I've no idea who this is, and it's certainly not in the hell. The, it's not uh, in well, the game. Well, not in the game, so well, not under I would that say name, that's anyway. a mark against you. Oh, yeah. Devilman. Apparently. Oh, what? Wait, Apparently wait. Apparently, it's an alternate name for Devilman, and uh, yes, no? I understand. But I'm curious to know what your argument would be, since a pitchfork in no way, shape, or form is considered an edged weapon. So no, it's it's by all means, pitchfork. give it a go. I'm really interested. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, like. Okay, let's be let's be fair here. When it comes to weapons, a pitchfork may be considered a stabby weapon, but like a spear, it's not considered a blade. We should call them the stabs rather than the blades. Then they're what point? Stabs. We should call them the shankers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Then only people with a knife are allowed on. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, like, you're, you're more than welcome to make the case. Like, here's the thing. Anyone is more than welcome to make the case. We don't mind people questioning us. The only time we've ever had issues is when people question us at a, 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 at a level, you know, at a level where it makes it sound like we never even considered the most fundamental yeah. Okay, let me, issues. let's, 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 let's go over disagreeing with us for a minute, because <laughs> it's worth, no, no, in all seriousness, it's worthwhile mm -hmm. going over. Right? Agreed. So you're welcome to disagree. You know? And you're welcome to make the argument either publicly or privately. But if you get pissy <laughs> when we disagree with you and tell you you're wrong and explain why, that's entirely your problem. <laughs> you're more than welcome to say, I think this is a mistake. Um, I believe when, as from what I remember, when Eternal Life was first added to the League, there was a big thing in the general discussion, and I think it's still around, where um, someone said, I think Eternal Life is a bad idea and here's why. And so there was a big discussion where some people, including some staff members, agreed with them and said, no, I agree, I think Eternal Life is a bad idea. We call it the mutiny of general discussion. <laughs> and <Yep>. nobody <laughs> on in who disagreed with me is still around. They were put down. <laughs> they are all um, gone. I, I will yeah. say this though, for, for for the sake of our sanities though, I would assume on your behalf that anything we put out there as policy is something that has already been debated into the ground. Which means that 
Um, this is one thing that it just slows down time. It, it kind of frustrates us because it makes us sit there and go, really? You don't think we thought of that? Um, the very simple things, like a perfect example would be, um, hey, we're going to introduce Power Body back into the league because we think this is the time and there's been enough changes and we think it's a good idea. To sit there and go, don't you think that'll be overpowered? That was brilliant. I'm sorry. Really? No. What? But what, it's like, it's so, like it's we so sit there and go, to, don't you, you think those... we considered this? Well, yeah. It's so tempting when you see that kind of thing to just sit down and go, oh, shit, no. Um, wow. Guys, we, did, oh, we really man. need to talk oh. about this. <laughs> and I think, okay, so that, that's, that's one point. You know, <laughs> don't consider that we haven't like, don't think that we haven't considered the blindingly fucking obvious, because we have. And we'll probably have considered a huge number of things that you haven't considered already. Which is why we tend to have, or certainly I tend to have answers for people when, you know, there's a public argument, or even people PM us directly and say, hey, listen, I tend to already have answers there because I've already thought about it, or we've already thought about it. The other thing I would say is and this kind of goes for just arguing in general that you might find a little useful if you're going to start an argument or going to try and discuss something with someone and you're starting from a particular position i.e. I think this Patara is bad or I think this person should be on my team make sure you understand your position and why you think what you think because there's been a lot of arguments that I've had either in the staff forums or publicly where I'll go into an I'll go into saying something and I'm almost coming from a position where I understand your side of the argument better than you do which is really stupid like you can look at something that someone's saying and saying okay I understand why this or I understand the direction that this person's coming from and I'm going to say this in response, here's what I think they're going to say based on what I've seen from them. And, like, a lot of the time, people will just do what basically gets you into a circular argument, where you're saying, where literally I, you can just quote what you've said before, and that is still a reasonable response to what they've just said, because they're effectively uh -huh. repeating themselves just in a slightly different way. It's genuinely quite stupid. And if you ever get to that point in an argument where you're just repeating yourself, go back, look who started repeating themselves first, that's the person that's just lost the argument. <laughs> yeah, pretty you're much. just wasting time and it's irritating. Mm -hmm. There, are we done? <laughs> I think so. Uh, I yeah, do believe that was, that was the last, last question. question. Mm -hmm. yep. <clears throat> yeah, because the thing is, is that I know that, especially this season, when we rolled out a lot of stuff, sometimes we as a staff came off as uh, a harsh or, 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 or a lot of people felt that we were being um, butts. But the truth of the of matter people was... said that about me. It's weird. Yeah, but <laughs> the truth of the matter was is that... Uh, um, is that first of all the staff every one of us is human and every one of us makes mistakes and and there have been times where all of us including myself have overreacted something to something and someone on the staff goes uh you should probably apologize for that i've never done um, that. i don't know what you mean <laughs> no well he's never apologized for <laughs> yeah he's never apologized actually, actually yeah, no, you're right. I've never apologized. I have been told off. No, no, yeah. I've just never apologized. <laughs> yeah, you've never, I was actually ever trying to apologized. think, have I ever had a message from something I've said publicly? No, actually, no, yeah, I have, no. <laughs> uh, but so the first thing to consider is that, yes, we are humans, and on, on occasion we will overreact to something. And in that case, we generally do uh, a, a decent job of saying, hey, we overreacted, our apologies, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but uh, the other thing is that if we sound like we're being final, it's because for two things. One, we've debated this to death. Your arguments are welcome, but the chances that they will change the the consensus we've come to after literally pages and pages of debate, the chances mm -hmm. that you even bring up a new argument we haven't already considered are minuscule. So a lot of times the, our responses are quick and short because this debate has already been held and the conclusion's already been come to. So mm -hmm. don't take that as us trying to be dicks. Just take that as 
we addressed your concern. Yeah, I mean, yeah. a lot of the like, times that I've just I've just dipped into the Star Forum, quoted something that either I've said or someone else has said in there, taken a couple of bits out and gone, here you go. This was the fine. This was basically the final argument. There you go. I mm -hmm. like that's one of the reasons, or pretty much the main reason, um, why we were so blunt with the whole MVP thing was because we spent a good solid what three weeks. Yeah, every day yeah, we debating. Spent a long time, yeah. That that's why we weren't going to hear pretty much any of it. I mean. If you really wanted to, you could have gone, hey, this is my MVP because of this and this and this and this and this. But nobody really brought up yeah. the correct argument. Yeah, I've always been exceptionally clear whenever I've been arguing with people because, you know, the accusation has been thrown that we just stifle down on the discussion. And I've always been very clear that you're welcome to disagree. You are welcome to to mm -hmm. debate like you can say you can go into the general discussion right now and sit down and start a debate saying i think that power body is a really bad idea and shouldn't be in the league you're quite welcome to do that and if we consider that it's worthwhile us actually stepping in i'm sure one of us or a couple of us will sit down and address your concerns all of us at the same time <laughs> yep by our powers <laughs> combined like we we'll, might well sit down and address what you've said but doesn't matter whether or not we say no you're quite welcome to continue debating if you really want to but mm -hmm. we've already stated our opinions we've put a lot of the rules and restrictions that we put in are there after weeks months you know, for some of the stuff that we put in for this season, like actual months of debating, or at the very least, months of sitting there as, okay, here's what we're going to consider and here's what we need to talk about. You know, a lot of that stuff's just been sitting there stewing for quite a long time, and we don't ever release stuff just off the bat, like without having considered it in the slightest. It's just not a thing we do. So you're quite welcome to argue with us you're quite welcome to carry on debating but as i said in the thread i'm think i'm referring to it just isn't going to change anything most probably so good luck right and, and it does sometimes i mean like i remember when we released the master list i forget who it was but someone's like hey what about this character don't they fit on that team and i remember we mm -hmm. sat to go yeah, Why, there's been a handful of there's been a handful of yeah. characters yeah. I've added like, to the master yeah, list after the fact. Yeah, a lot of that was yeah, so... from what the from what I remember of those PMs and the stuff I was talking to people about was just we just forgotten to put them on. I mean, we just overlooked yeah. it. There, um, there were a few think... teams that we just overlooked. Yeah, sometimes, um, like Grandpa Gohan. He is a Gohan. Yeah, we didn't put him on the like, master yeah. list for the Gohans. We're like, uh, yeah. why didn't we do that? Because uh, yeah, we just exactly. don't think about it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he so, may not yep. be the the one Gohan from the show that everybody thinks of when they say Gohan. He's the one I think of. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but he is the one that um, Goku's son is named after. And he has Go Gohan as his name. So mm -hmm. there you go. <laughs> Okay, that and seems done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that seems that seems like a reasonable place for us to end on. Um, yeah, obviously you're I, I welcome so. to continue asking questions. If there are enough, we might do another one before the preseason. I think it's pretty unlikely, but we might. Um, the preseason should lazy. be at some point. Well, we don't need you on here. You know, it's fine. Oh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> um, I can I'll sleep in. Awesome. Pass up these opportunities. Great. <laughs> yeah, so, but we'll probably leave the questions for next time until uh, we do something around about the preseason. So, until then, thank you mm -hmm. for listening, watching, doing whatever you were doing, and we'll see you next time. Say bye. 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 bye.